uh, official sunrise here in about 15 to 20 minutes. Yes, at 535 here in Denver officially and as the sun comes up, a live look for you over our lookout mountain camera. It is going to be a really beautiful Memorial Day across the state with sunshine to start and just a few storms possible later on. We are seeing a singular storm right now and some light rain rolling across the eastern plains. Uh, no severe warned weather and that'll taper off here shortly. So a dry start to the day for the I-25 corridor up into the mountains. Temperatures right now are quite chilly in Leadville, only at 28 degrees, but upper 30s now filtering in from Steamboat Springs down through Aspen. If you're taking the dog or yourself out on a walk, going to the park this afternoon here over the metro area, temperatures will warm quickly by 9 o'clock, 67 degrees, high 70s right around 11 o'clock and daytime highs are back to the low 80s. That includes Boulder, downtown Denver into Highlands Ranch and further off to the west, Estes Park through Grand Lake, 60s for highs this afternoon. Statewide 70s at the valley level into many of our northern and central mountain towns, as you can see, and across the eastern plains, low 80s for highs. Any risk for severe storm activity is low here for Metro Denver off to the west, but over northeastern Colorado, Akron out through Burlington and Julesburg could see a strong storm or two develop a little bit later on this afternoon. And here's the timing of it all. If you have any outdoor plans this morning, you're in the clear. Expect mostly sunny skies by about noon will be near 80 degrees by that point. Winds gusty at times from the west into the mountains up near Grand Lake and Winter Park and down across southeastern Colorado could see an isolated storm or two, but very little precipitation is likely. So a pretty dry day expected here for the metro area and skies will clear quickly later on tonight. We'll start off with 50s for Tuesday and for tomorrow, a little more cloud coverage by midday. As you can see from our statewide future cast, highs will return to the low 80s and an isolated storm chance will again arrive strongest activity over the eastern plains. Wednesday is when our next cold front is set to roll in, bringing in more moisture and stability to the atmosphere here across Colorado. You can see more widespread rain will be possible and stronger thunderstorms are set to develop by Wednesday afternoon. Super seven day forecast a slight cool down expected by the end of the week. Thursday and Friday highs only in the low 70s and for next weekend 60s only with a chance for a few storms late in the day. Jason, well, I don't feel much like uh, summer, mm -hmm. which is supposed to be getting into summer. The pools open and everything.